So here we are back at the uh, William Street Mott, and uh, sick dude strikes again on the uh, whiteboard. <clears throat> it says, Dorothy, we now have apple cider for you. Then he says, magazines. If you're reading a story and don't finish it, please take the magazine home. Finish the article and keep the magazine. No problem. And then he has gain with bleach has replaced whisk. Whisk. Gain with bleach has replaced whisk in the soap machine. <clears throat> Try it. And then he says, patrons, thanks for braving the elements to get here. Dot, dot, dot. He, he ends all his sentences with dot, dot, dot. He doesn't understand that that's an end of a train of thought. But in a, in a, in a case where you want to thank people, see, thank you for braving the elements to get here, you need to end it. And I would have probably done it with an exclamation point. I think I'm going to talk to, I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, there we go, period. You know, and actually I'm going to get rid of that too. Try it, period. Okay, thank you, the WSL staff. All right, incorrect. Rick, you need to learn how to use proper punctuation. As a corollary to the last uh, thing, you'll note that I put an exclamation point there. I erased the extra dots there, erased the extra periods there. See, that, that right there can stay because he's sort of ending a train of thought. And Dor I just didn't feel like climbing up there to take care of the Dorothy, we have apple cider for you. But I did, you know, put the exclamation point there for the patrons because we really appreciate them coming here, braving those elements here in sunny Buffalo.